Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we'll be doing packet tracer network representation. So let's go over the objectives of this activity. The network model in this activity incorporates many of the technologies that you will master in your CCNA studies. It represents a simplified version of how a small to medium sized business network might look. Feel free to explore the network on your own. When you're ready, pro proceed through the following steps and answer the questions. And it has a small note for us. It says, it is not important that you understand everything you see and do in this activity. Feel free to explore the network on your own. If you wish to profit more systematically, follow the steps below. Answer the questions to the best of your ability. So it has instructions. So this activity has three steps. First step, is, first step is identify common components of a network as represented in packet tracer. Second step is to explain the purpose of the devices. And the third step is compare and contrast lands and vans. So let's start with the step one. The icon toolbar at the bottom left hand corner has various categories of networking components. You should see categories that correspond to intermediary devices and devices and media. The connections category with the lightning bolt icon represent the networking media supported by packet tracer. So if you go on the Cisco packet tracer, you see a lightning bolt icon, which has all the media connections in it. And let's go back to the instructions. There's also an end device category and two categories specific to packet tracer, custom made devices and multi-user connection. So there's multi-user connection and there are the end devices. So first, list the intermediary devices categories. Right here, click on network devices. There are one, two, three, four, five. First one is router, followed by switches, hubs, wireless devices, and WAN emulation. So second step will be start entering into the internet cloud or Ethernet cloud, how many icons in the topology represent endpoint devices? Only one connection leading to them. Let's go back to our topology. Let's start with the home office. There's one right here, two, three, four. In central, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And branch 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 of them. Without counting the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary devices, multiple connections leading to them? Let's start with central one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we are not including internet or in intranet. 9, 10, 11. So there are 11 of them. Without counting the two clouds, how many icons in the topology represent intermediary devices, multiple connections leading to them. So there are 11. How many end devices are not desktop computers? So these are the desktop computers. This is not one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. So there are eight of them. Next question. How many different types of media connections are used in the network topology? So media connections will be 
one, two, three, four. So one is copper straight through. Second one is violet. Third one is uh, coaxial. And the fourth one is serial DTC. Let's move to step two. Explain the purpose of the devices. In the packet tracer, only the server PTE devices can act as a server. Desktop or laptop PCs cannot act as a server. Based on your study so far, explain the client, explain the client uh, Explain the client server model, I'm sorry. So in modern networks, a host can act as a client, a server, or both. Software installed on the host determine the role it plays on the network. Servers are hosts that have software installed that enables them to provide information and services like email or web pages. To other hand on the network, clients are hosts that have software installed that enables them to request and display the information obtained from the server. A client could also be configured as a server simply by installing server software. List at least two functions of intermediary devices. So, Let's go, first one I will go, I will do maintain information about the pathway exists through the network and inter-network. And second will be, it allows permits or deny the flow of data based on security settings. Let's go see, list at least two criteria for choosing a network media type. First will be the amount of data and the speed at which it must be transmitted. And the second will be the cost of the media and installation. So we're done with the step one and step two. Let's go with the step three. Compare and contrast LANs and WANs. Explain the difference between LAN and WAN. Give examples of each. So LAN is a local area network and WAN is a wide area network. LAN provides access to end user in a small geographical area, such as home office or school campus. WAN on the other side provide access to user in a wide geographical area over long distance, such as few miles to thousands of miles. In the pack tracer, how many WANs you see? So let's see right here. We see one and two, internet and intranet. So for the D, the ethernet in this packet tracer network is overly simplified and does not represent the structure and form of the REST internet. Briefly describe the internet. So the internet, is mostly used when we need to communicate with the resources on another network. The internet is a global mesh or interconnected networks like internet networks. Let's go for the step E. What are some of the common ways a home, use, home user connects to the internet? It will be Cable, DSL, dial up, cellular, and satellite. Question F What are some common methods that businesses use to connect to the internet in your area? Uh, they can either connect with dedicated lease line, Metro E, DSL cable or satellite. All right, looks like we are done with this activity. Thanks for watching guys. 
See you later.